Hi guys, this is Karen. Welcome to another video. This one is going to be exciting very very exciting one now if you're a part of the beauty community and unless you've been sleeping under a rock you probably saw this palette the yucca eyeshadow palette by natasha denona this gorgeous gorgeous eyeshadow palette i love it it looks amazing however i don't really like the price tag 69 dollars for an eyeshadow palette these days where everything is so expensive I am trying to buy as little as possible I don't want to waste $69 on an eyeshadow palette as beautiful as it may be now these palettes used to uh, used to cost $65 they now uh, the price has increased to $69 now do I want to spend $69 on an eyeshadow palette not really as beautiful as it looks and it looks gorgeous gorgeous i've been wa uh, watching it on the natasha denona website this it just looks gorgeous just you know i'll put a, fi a picture here but unless you've been really hiding under a rock uh no way that you didn't see it i mean everybody is talking about it uh everybody that I saw on TikTok, or, uh, on TikTok, on YouTube, maybe on TikTok as well, I don't know, but on YouTube, it's everywhere. Everywhere you go, the Yucca palette from Natasha Denona. Now, I really love Natasha Denona. I have two midi palettes. I have the pastel palette and another one, forgot the name. So I have two large palettes from the Natasha Denona and three minis. And I love the quality of Natasha Denona, but I don't want to spend $69. With that said, I liked their... She posted on her website eye looks that you can create with this palette. There are gorgeous ones. Beautiful, of course, the models are gorgeous, but the looks are gorgeous as well. Now, she also, uh, in this line, there are also three pencils, so keep that in mind. I mean, gorgeous, really gorgeous. Okay, just out of this world looks, and here are the shades. So, I spent the entire day yesterday and looking at my collection all of my eyeshadow collection and i do have a big collection i have over 100 palettes i missed count some point or another in time but i do have a lot a lot of eyeshadows so i thought well maybe i'll look for you know palettes in my collection that has similar tones of these palettes it ha I, well i didn't find something that well blah, blah, blah. i don't know if it's a hundred percent because i don't have the palette i only have pictures and you know pictures are sometimes deceiving so i went by pictures and i went over my collection and i have here one this is the Uden's Eye uh, Hella palette. Another Uden's Eye, too, is this one, Flora. Again, from Uden's Eye. And this is three. This is Serenity palette by Cosmic Brushes. Four is Club Nebula from Kaleidos. Five, Nomad, Hudson Valley. Six, Colourpop Troublemaker. Seven, Colourpop, uh, The Child. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, also from Uden's Eye. This is their limited edition Merry Christmas palette. So these are the eight palettes that I found in my collection that can cover almost the entire palette of Natasha Denona, except of the yellow, the green, um, well, let me show it to you, this one here, this one, the green metallic, well, not metallic, the green 
here this one i couldn't find anything similar to that in my collection so except of that they didn't find i found something similar in all the other shades all the others i did find something similar i am not sure if it's you know spot on because again i don't have the palette but the whole purpose of buying the palette was to create looks now I've been watching you know all the models here and the one that caught my eye was this one I really love making these kinds of looks these are one of my favorite looks and I want to create this look with the eyeshadow palettes that I just showed you now before we get to that let's swatch all of those shades and I'm going to show you the ones that I think are similar to the Natasha Denona ones okay so I'm going to start so this is the palette I'm going to start from this end well I don't know where it's going to be but I will start at the end and I chose the Mandalorian by Colourpop and the shade is the Force which is the force which one is the force this one here so i chose this one the force by colourpop mandalorian to be the first shade in my natasha denona yucca palette so we're going to swatch them by order and this is the first one see that it's a bit of a gold beautiful 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 palette now I have now the serenity palette and we're going for uh, by uh, columns oh wow that almost fell okay it did fell partially okay serenity because now my table is stuck with all of these palettes and there's nothing to put never mind I will uh, fix it later serenity I have I think three shades from this palette this is the eyeshadow palette serenity this is gorgeous beautiful and I chose moss to be the second color so this is moss here let's swatch moss and this is moss In my opinion it is similar lots of lots of fallout but I think it's very very similar what do you think let's watch I want to see the palette again and I know it looks green and in the palette it looks like mustard so I don't know why I chose this one but I did because I think I saw swatches on YouTube and it looks more green than mustard so this is why I chose that one next one I chose from my Hella palette with from Uden's Eye the shade called Decay Decay where is Decay? yeah this one this brown color here this is the Hella palette and this is the K, which is a brown color. Now it's very, very hard from a picture to see the shades. So I hope that I am correct, but this is the vibes it gave me. Hella. And then let's go to the other three and from Merry Christmas where is Merry Christmas here is Merry Christmas the shade is this is the Merry Christmas by Uden's Eye wait you can see that yeah and the shade Christmas tree is this one where is it Christmas tree Christmas tree is this one here so I chose Christmas tree Again, all from looking at the palette and looking at swatches from her website and from other YouTubers. I hope I am correct. 
I'm not sure I am. Next up is Troublemaker, which is a ColourPop palette. This is the palette. This is how it looks like. And I chose the shade Kick S, which is this shade here. This shade here is Kick S. Let's take a clean finger. This is how it looks like. Kind of a gray, shimmer gray. This is the vibe that this gave me. Okay, next up is from Hudson Fall from Nomad Cosmetics, which is this palette here. And I chose the shade Festival. Festival is... Festival? Yeah, Festival. Why was I uh, thinking that I was wrong? Where is Festival? There is no shade called Festival. Oh, Fall Festival. Why shouldn't have... Wit oh yeah, I did write... <laughs> I did write Fall Festival. Okay. Fall Festival, which is... Uh, okay, I needed to clean my fingers first. Okay, I'll go clean them in a second. So this is the shade, which is a... Orange, grungy, grungy orange. These are the vibe that I got. So this is what we have so far. I'll go and clean my fingers and I'll be right back. Next up is Flora. Flora again is by Flora Story by palette by Uden's Eye. This is how it looks like. And I chose the shade Best Buds. Best Buds is this shade here. This is the shade Best Buds. Let's swatch it. A green shimmery shade, gorgeous shade, just gorgeous. Next one I chose from Hella, which we already saw. This is Hella, the shade Wolf. Wolf is. You really can't see the name. Oh, this is Wolf. This is Wolf here. So from Wolf. Okay, this is Wolf. This gorgeous shade. So this is Wolf. Okay. And then the third shade in the row, one, two, the third one is from the Serenity palette. This is called Wonder Red Wanderer. Wanderer, Wanderer, let's see where it is, Wanderer, Wanderer is this beautiful, gorgeous green shade here, I love this Serenity palette, they had this the new palette that I didn't have a chance to buy, that I really wanted to buy, but did, never had a chance, I mean look at that, this is just gorgeous shimmer, so this is Serenity Wonder, okay, next Next one, next column is again from Hella. Wait, my paper wants to go away. So from Hella, where is Hella? Hella. The shade is moss. Let's see where moss is. Yeah, this one here. I knew it. This one is moss. So let's take moss. And this is moss. Moss. Wow, what a beautiful shade. Very, very grungy. Next up from Serenity, I pull, I picked up Sorbet. Okay, stop falling, please. Please, of you. Okay, thank you. Sorbet. Which one was Sorbet? Oh, here. This one here. Green, beautiful shade. Sorbet. Which is 
this one here, this is a new row. So this is sorbet. And then from, from the same palette, Serenity, we have the shade Oasis, which is this pink shade, a uh, pink, why oh, pink? Coral shade here. So where are we here? This shade here. Maybe I need to repeat it. Okay. Now again, the shade, the green, the yellowy, bright neon shade, I don't have, so it's going to be blank. And then we have from Nomad Hudson, the same Hudson palette that we just saw, the shade Corn Maze. Corn Maze is this shade here. This gorgeous shade here. Let's just pick it up. Gorgeous shade. Gorgeous. Okay, and the last one is from Club Nebula. If you remember, we saw this is the last one. Club Nebula from Kaleidos. This is how it looks like. And the shade is nine. Uh, seven of nine, which is this shade here. Wait, I'm having trouble opening it. This one here, seven of nine. Okay, so these are the shades that I chose. I'm not sure by 100% that these are the shades of the Natasha Denona palette, but these are the closest one that I had in my collection. I remind you that here there is a blank that I did, couldn't find. I should have keep a blank. Maybe I will do that, you know. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just, you know, be as authentic, authentic as possible. I just wiped it off and let's go back to Hudson. So I'm going to leave one which is empty and corn maze again so one that is missing and then going back to corn haze and going back to club nebula seven of nine okay so there is a blank well kind of <laughs> I tried okay I'm going to add here on my head the swatches of the Natasha Denona from their um, website and we'll see if it's similar well you will see if it's similar when what you think and now the real goal is to create a look and I show you that I show showed you the look that I chose Let's see it again. This one. I'll try to enhance her face. This one. I'll also insert it here. So you will see it. So here is the picture. And well, she is gorgeous. And I wish I were that gorgeous. But at least I'll try and mimic her eye makeup. So let's do that. Let's try. Well, I just collaged the palette and the look so it will be easier for me to follow it and I think that she used the middle shade the middle shade in the palette I will mark it on the palette here She used the middle shade I'm going to use for my Hella Wolf which is this shade here So I'm going to apply it to my crease Oh, this is very, 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 lots of kickback in the pan. Of course, I already primed with my MAC paint pod in soft ochre. I have this guy for such a long time. I do remember when I bought it, December of 2019. 
Mac was the last shop that I've been to before COVID. Makeup shop, I mean. So I remember specifically when I bought this one. The Mac one, so. But I haven't used it for a long time. I bought it in 2019, but it took forever for me to start using it. But I guess it is a bit old. Okay, are we having the same vibes? No, I think she darkened it. Mm -mm -mm. She made it a bit more dark. But what shade did she use to make it darker? I'm looking at the palette and there isn't anything that looks darker. Then this one, this is okay. Maybe she used the bottom one, which is also from Hella, which is Decay, which is this gorgeous shade here. And I think that she used this dark brown to make it even darker. So that's what we're going to do. Of course, there's a lot of kickback in the pan. And kind of followed it now she has tutorials in her Instagram but only for one of the shades and the one that she she used in the tutorial she used the pens a lot so I don't have the pens so I didn't want to recreate something that has use of the pens that I don't have pens or pencils that I don't have Okay, so now it is a bit darker. I think it's smart, much more similar. Okay, now we need to take the dark green. And I'm just deliberating if it's going to be the upper one. Yeah, I think it's going to be the upper one for Merry Christmas. The Christmas tree, this one here. I'm going to deepen the outer corner with it. Let's take a flat brush and just wow wow enormous kick man in the pan of the wooden's eye so so far I used two palettes both by wooden's eye <laughs> that's hilarious okay so you just deepened out the outer corner you don't see a lot of this deep shade. It's just to give dimension. Wow. And again, the only reason we're doing this and the only reason why I went over more than a hundred palettes is because I don't want to spend $69 on an eyeshadow palettes, palette. You know, if I didn't have so many palettes, then I would definitely buy it because I like the color scheme a lot. But since I have so many, I don't need another one. I am trying, trying, not very successfully, to buy as little as possible. Okay, next shade that I see that she's using is the gold one from Hudson. Where is the Hudson one here? Uh, the gold one in the next to, well, I'll show it to you here. It will be more clear. So I'm just going to add this with my finger here to the middle of the lash. This is very pigmented tiny bit and looks look at that whoa wow this is gorgeous I kind of fell in love with Nomad this is the first time I ever bought from Nomad but so far I really enjoy using them okay what do you think is it's close well I am scared that she used this shade that I don't have but I think she used this one from the, well, Mine Serenity Sorbet. Okay, I'll put you somewhere else because you want to fall all the time. This is my watch, my clock. Okay, 
my which one did I say sorbet yeah this green here let's just take it on a brush and add it here I'm not sure I think she used the yellow one but I don't have which is a real bummer but this is the look that I wanted to create it from all the looks that she posted on her website I love these kinds of looks of course we need to blend everything this is not blend at all this is all over the place I really need to blend okay is it similar is it similar hmm. well let's blend first because if we won't blend we won't know if it's similar or not so I'm just blending with the blending brush so it will be blended and you won't see all the harsh transitions from shade to shade and look at that this is blended this is not blended you can see the difference zoom you in a bit so you'll be able to see up close okay that's better I hope so I'm just blending with no additional color just a clean brush I'm just blending and after I'll finish blending, we'll see how close it is to Natasha's look. Of course, she's a professional, professional makeup artist. I am not. Now, we can't see the lower, you know, her lower lash line in the picture, which is a bummer. But I assume that she has a color on it. So I will adapt. To the situation and take my small brush where is it where is it hello please don't tell me my daughter used it please please i beg you not this one oh here it is from rougher rougher number two is the one that i love using for the lower lash line i imagined that she used Let's go back to Merry Christmas on the lower lash line the Christmas tree which was the green shade and I'll take it on my brush and take off the access and just add it to the lower lash line and I'm extending it a bit as you can see create some shape to the outer corner I assume that's what she did again we can't see from the photo and I do want to give my eye shape like she did okay what do we think i think she used another shade of metallic in her look but first i want to add from hudson valley the same shade that i just used the corn maze but let's clean this i have here my cleaner i think it's too close don't you think it's too close Go back a bit. No, back. 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 Okay, that's better. I'm just cleaning it on my cleanser, which needs to be cleaned as well. <laughs> and now I'm taking from Corn Maze and adding it to the lower lash line. Just like that. And again, on the other side yeah 
definitely we don't need to wet the brush it gives us the result that we want but if it doesn't then you need to wet your brush okay this is me imagining what she did on the lower lash line okay I do think that something is missing maybe one of the golds I don't know maybe flora maybe flora or hmm, or this one which will give it a bit more depth that was the serenity wondered this shade here maybe I will add that to the outer corner here give the look a bit more depth yeah I think it's working just a tiny bit here I really want to give it a bit more depth what's that okay of course she's having extent you know lashes and everything I will just add mascara but what do we think? I'm looking at myself and I'm looking at the model and I'm definitely seeing that she used the shade that I don't have. Now, maybe this shade will be, you know, will give us the result we want from maybe this one. It is a neon green. Do I have something to lose? Well, not really. So let's just add it here. What was the name of the shade? I didn't say. It was from it's Gravity from Club Nebula. Okay, let's add also on the other eye. A neon neon yellow is what I needed I don't have anything like that in my collection which is a bummer but it is what it is what do we think about the look well I think it's beautiful I'm not in the middle let's pop in some mascara and I will be right back back I added mascara I use my iconic London mascara Cute mascara I really like the wand it's very narrow if you were wondering about the wand it's very easy to apply on the lower lash line so this is the final look I'll close my eyes and I do hope that you will tell me in the comment section down below if you think well how similar it is to what Natasha created so this is the final look what do you think well, we don't have the same skin color of course we don't have the same makeup of course it wasn't done by Natasha Denona which is an artist I'm not an artist but I did my best and I really think it looks similar to what she did but do let me know well of course we don't have the same brows I mean she has amazing brows the model the model looks gorgeous gorgeous I really like this skin tone that she has and everything was perfect so I did my best what do you think these are the swatches is it similar in your opinion well I don't think this one is similar but I really need to see it in real life to know if it is similar or not it looks similar in some kind of lighting but I'm not really sure but I do think that relatively these are the shades that Natasha Denona has in the Yucca palette let me know what you think did you buy this palette maybe you can tell me if it's similar I don't think I will buy this palette but maybe when I'll be in Sephora and I'll be able to swatch it maybe but I'm not going to buy it just because it's $69 now I know it's very high quality it's Natasha Denona again she's an artist and she's great and she's wonderful and I really really highly 
appreciate her and her work but I am on low buy I'm trying not to buy because I have so much so much makeup and tons of eyeshadow palettes okay so please let me know what you think is this look similar the same not at all what do you think please let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up <laughs> Sub yeah subscribe to my channel before you leave don't forget to turn on the notification note and with that said i will catch you all in my next video mm -hmm.